Electric bikes can be an expensive investment and locking them up can really make you nervous. This TexLock Mate is another layer of locking protection that I started to use. And in today's video, I wanna go through the pros and cons of this lock to help you figure out if it's for you. A quick lock disclaimer. Almost every lock can be defeated by an angle grinder if they have enough time. Your main goal is to make the thief's life more difficult so they move on to the next bike or catch someone's attention. You need to weigh your own needs, the bike cost, and where or when you are locking to figure out what locks, I said locks, plural, you might want. This video is about a specific lock, but if you're looking for tips on how to lock up a big cargo bike or electric bike, let me know in the comments and I'll work on another video. The Tex Lock Mate is a frame lock extension. This means you use it in partnership with a wheel lock that comes on a lot of electric and cargo bikes these days. If you don't have a wheel lock, you can always add them on depending on your tire size. What makes this specific Tex Lock really unique is the textile fabric on the outside of a six millimeter chain, which is apparently really hard to cut through. This specific model is 120 centimeters. They do make other options with small shackles instead of plugging into this frame lock. This extension lock has a security rating of ART2 or sold secure silver. It cost $89 at the time of recording this and there's a coupon code below in the description if you end up wanting to purchase one. I use it primarily in two or three ways. The primary way I've been using it is as a secondary lock to my heavy duty chain. I have used it as my primary lock in partnership with that wheel lock in low theft areas where I'm running in for takeout or for coffee. I'm not far and the bike is probably within ear or eyesight. The third way I've been using it is to anchor other bikes to my cargo bike easily. So I lock my cargo bike up and then I attach other bikes to my bike using this. When I'm trying to evaluate bike locks for electric bikes and cargo bikes, I'm typically looking for three things. What is that security rating from either art or sold secure? How easy it is to use on a bulky or heavy electric bike and cargo bike? And then how much does it cost? I'm not gonna start cutting apart locks on this channel. I really rely on those security experts to tell me the security rating but I can tell you for high theft areas, I'm gonna be looking for gold standard and use two or more, ideally anchored to two separate things. I added this frame lock extension to my locking strategy because it's so easy to use to have another lock. It also works as a safety to ensure that I've locked my wheel lock, which on most bikes, the key for your wheel lock is also your battery lock key. So you always wanna lock that wheel lock. And then when I come back to my bike, it helps me from forgetting to unlock my wheel and try to ride away with it still locked. The last thing I evaluate is the cost. I always tell folks to be prepared to spend 5% or more of your bike value in locks and security. This could be locks, alarms, GPS, whatever. Be prepared to spend 5% or more on your locking and security. So you can figure out how this fits into your unique setup. This has become a great addition to many of my bikes with the frame lock. I love that it keeps me from forgetting to lock my wheel or that my key is still in my pocket. It's super easy to use. It doesn't rattle like the Abus version I've been using. And it comes with this nice little carrying bag that I've strapped onto the front of my transporter rack or onto the frame of some other bikes. One of the last things I wanna talk about are the competitors. So previously I've been using an Abus adapter chain with a more basic fabric coating, which also has six millimeter links, but the chain isn't covered in this textile fabric, which is apparently really hard to cut through. The Abus one, the cover is always slipping, which causes the links to chip my paint, and it's really noisy. That chain is 110 centimeters. This one's 120. 
It does cost a little bit less for 50 to $60 online. And it just feels super basic in your hands next to this really bulky, beefy text lock. As I mentioned, there's no rattling and there's just this really nice coating on both ends. So I'm not worried about scratching up my paint. It is worth mentioning that Abus came out with a competing lock after the text lock hit the market. It has Ivy Tech material on the outside. I've only been able to touch this one at a trade show, so I don't have hands-on experience with it. My last thing, who is this for? If you're looking for simplicity in your locking when in low theft areas, or you're looking to supplement your big lock, this lock should be something you check out. For all my shops watching, this is distributed in the US and I'll put some info below. I would love to hear from you in the comments. What is your locking strategy and does this lock fill any needs or are you looking for something else? As always, thank you so much for watching. Stay well, stay good, and remember to bike more and worry 